Model steam engines and boilers, part 43, starting to make the connecting rod. This series called How to Build a Model Steam Engine is for my Patreon supporters only. The full length versions of the episodes in the series contain a lot more information than you're about to see, but this is sufficient to give you a good idea how to do the job. Why is it a good idea to join Patreon? Firstly, you get to see the videos a few months before everyone else. You can download my ebook, The Essential Guide to Miniature Steam, which is completely free. And you can watch the entire series of How to Build a Model Steam Launch, which is over five hours of instructions. I would like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. I could not make these videos without your kind help and support. This compilation video contains edited extracts from my series, How to Build a Model Steam Engine. I drilled the supplied piece of metal in entirely the wrong place in episode 28. This piece of bar is a bit shorter now, I'm sure it'll come in for something else. The first thing to do is to clean up the piece of bar. As I received them, both of these pieces of steel were covered in some sort of rust preventative oil. Keeping my hands clean when I do this sort of thing every day is difficult enough, without the addition of this very dirty black oily stuff. With new pieces of steel from a supplier, you have to be a bit careful, because the edges are usually quite sharp where it's been cut. And this is also true of the bar stock that comes with the casting set. Now the piece of steel that I'm going to use is clean, I can start the job, and the first thing to do is to cut the bar to length. But be careful, don't misread the drawing. The 6 and 5 30 seconds of an inch dimension is between the hole centres. My milling machine is not a particularly expensive unit, but the parts are generally very good. Although, I can still make a mess when using it. This clip was taken from part 28, and it shows me doing a test machining of a piece of steel bar using a slot drill which is 3 eighths of an inch in diameter, which is the finished size that I need the slot to be, but it didn't work out as you can see. This was mainly due to the piece of metal not being supported properly in the machine vice and sticking out too far. So in this episode, using the piece of steel that I cut off the main one foot length, I'm showing how I'm going to do this job once I've machined the connecting rod to the correct shape. This time the piece of steel is very well supported in between the vice jaws. Also, I'm using a slot drill which is 5 16 of an inch in diameter. This is useful for two reasons. As the slot drill is 5 16 of an inch diameter, there's a bit of tolerance. If by any chance I do not mill down the centre of the piece of steel to start with, I do have a little adjustment. This slot needs to be 3 quarters of an inch in length, so I've set the end stop to take this into consideration. I went through in very small steps. In the end, I had a perfect slot 3 quarters of an inch long. Even the finish on the internal sides wasn't too bad. The only minor problem now though is that this slot needs to be 3 eighths of an inch diameter wide, not 5 sixteenths. So in the clips you're currently watching, I'm slightly widening the slot. I'm making sure I always go towards the work and never away from it. This will stop the milling cutter from grabbing the metal. In this case, the process is feed the cutter in at the front. When it gets to the end of the slot, wind the handle on the table to move the cutter to the other side and that way you can cut both sides and the cutter is always cutting against the work and never away from the work. This is not quite so essential if you're taking very very fine cuts but generally speaking always mill towards the work. A quick check with my micrometer tells me that both sides of the slot are exactly the same thickness and as you can see the finish in the slot is quite good. I already have a Stuart Victoria and it's a very well made engine. I'm just comparing my slot with the slot on the connecting rod on the engine and when I fit the piece of 3 8 bar in place it's a good fit. For anyone out there who's not understanding what I'm doing, here is a schematic diagram written on the metal. Unfortunately though that wasn't the proper job. This is the proper job. I have quite a few operations to do to this piece of steel before I mill the slot. In the next episode you will see why it is important to get the sequential order right. The first part of the job has to be drilling the holes for the bushes. I'm not going to show this at great length because I've already shown it in part 28. The only essential difference is this time I'm going to drill through the right side of the piece of metal. Because don't forget, the metal bar is not square, it's 5 8 by half an inch. I'm drilling the half an inch side. First of all with the centre drill, 
making sure it's exactly on the mark, followed by a twist drill, which is one imperial drill size less than quarter of an inch, then followed by reaming it with a hand reamer, but only part of the way through. A hand reamer has a slight taper. I finish off the reaming job by hand at the bench. And even though I'm only showing one side, I do it at both ends of the piece of bar. On one end of the piece of bar, I draw a cross with a felt tip pen. You'll see why in the next episode. For the moment, the cross is just telling me that this is the forked end. I covered the making of the leaded bronze bushes successfully in part 28. And with the help of some Loctite 603, I'm tapping the bushes into place. Once I've fitted both of the bushes, I made them flush with the steel bar using my 4-inch belt sander. If the bushes are a tight fit, and these were, you will have to ream the bushes slightly using the relevant reamer. And now for the really hard part. This is particularly difficult, especially if you are a beginner. So for that reason, the forge or chuck lathe work and the milling operation will be in the next episode. So that's it for this one. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.